North American Investment, Winter Driving Awards, Stellantis Women Honored. All right now on Stellantis Spotlight. Stellantis announced this week that it's investing $99 million into three North American plants for production of a new four-cylinder turbocharged engine. The investments will be made at the Dundee Engine Complex in Michigan, the Kokomo Casting Plant in Indiana, and the Etobicoke Casting Plant in Toronto. The new engine is a 1.6-liter I-4 turbocharged unit with direct fuel injection and flexibility for hybrid electric vehicle, or HEV, applications. Based on a current Stellantis production engine in Europe, this next-generation engine will power two future North American HEV models. This will be the first HEV engine for the company in the region, and production is expected to begin in early 2025. The New England Motor Press Association has named the 2022 Grand Wagoneer the official winter SUV of New England, and the 2022 Ram 1500 earned official winter pickup truck of New England. The 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee L and 2022 Jeep Wrangler took home class wins at the annual winter vehicle competition. During the winter months, NEMPA journalists put numerous manufacturers' vehicles to the ultimate test in New England's harsh winter conditions. And finally, two North American Stellantis executives have been honored for their leadership. Chrysler brand chief executive officer Chris Fuel was honored by D Business Magazine as one of the Powered by Women class of 2022. Honorees selected from reader nominations include women across a variety of industries who have made significant impacts on the companies they run by conquering an ever-changing set of challenges. And Kim Adams House, head of all brands, licensing and merchandising, was named by Savoy Magazine to the 2022 list of the most influential black executives in corporate America. Savoy Magazine is a national publication covering the power, substance, and style of African-American lifestyle, from entertainment to sports, business to politics, and design to style. Those are this week's top stories on Stellantis Spotlight. Reporting for Stellantis Digital Media, I'm Peter Spezia.